Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? We are, uh, we're back. Uh, we're gonna go over a quick recap, because it's actually been, uh, it's been five weeks for us since we last were here. Uh, it doesn't matter to you guys, but I like letting you know that, you know, we're picking up after a, a bit of a break. So in our last episode, um... It was a little more fun, a little more goofy, a little more happy. Um, we got to meet Esmeralda. We went to her her place. We found out that she is looking for her master, uh, someone who taught her to fight the way that she does and super impressive and whatnot. And uh, she kind of left us hanging on the anecdote that he has a tiger. Uh, if you go back and watch that moment, uh, everyone kind of freaks the fuck out in their head. So that was cool. Uh, we also got to meet Kazimir Valakov, who is uh, an elf that we are going to take to the Amber Temple. That's something that's happening in the future. And uh, we're, we're getting pretty close to some stuff actually happening in Valaki that we need to be present for. Like the Sun Festival and all that good stuff. So, yeah, we're going to kind of pick it up from where we left off, which was where uh, we were talking to Esmeralda. She just dropped the, the tiger bomb. And, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get started. Also, we have tablets now. Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. an update. We all have uh, Amazon Fire tablets. No sponsor. <laughs> but Bezos, if you, want... if you would like to sponsor us, <laughs> we'll talk. <clears throat> we'll have a discussion. We're not locked in yet. Yeah. I don't want... <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how big this Amazon thing's going to go. It's probably not going to be that big. <sighs> yeah. Like Jeff Bezos thinks he's going to be the richest guy in the world or something. <laughs> yeah. Silly. Also, Justin at Top Tabling, now has cups, as he's been uh, modeling right now. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't. I was just <laughs> drinking this. I was just drinking it in with my eyes. Just this cola. Mmm. <laughs> well, let's jump on into it. Yeah, <laughs> you might want to fix that a little bit. Yeah, I'm just, I if was you, reading. Like, this, this part, rotate like that. And then you can do this tighten to rotate. It. Honestly, that should be fine, but just tighten down here so it doesn't... Right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it doesn't fall. So tight. Okay. Awesome. So, previously, you were in the uh, Vasani camp, uh, and you just had met with Esmeralda, and she had dropped a bomb on you guys. So we'll we'll kind of backpedal a little bit so that way we can get into the the headspace of where we where we left off five weeks ago <laughs> um <clears throat> uh, i believe she said something along the lines of <sighs> you would think uh looking for someone who uh had a pet tiger would be easy to find um is the tiger's name man eater no are you sure I am pretty sure I, I've been traveling with him for at least three years up until this point. What are his teeth like? Long? Yeah, like a saber? Yes. Would you say that it's a tiger with saber tooths? It's a saber tooth tiger. Yeah. Why are you being very weird? Have you seen it? Have I seen it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm in the, the room with you. You know that, right? Yes. I can Have smell I seen bullshit. it? We've only heard of it. I've only heard of it. Roll a deception. No, just him. Uh, 15 plus 5, 20. Jesus Christ. She kind of looks at you and she goes, Okay, that's weird. You heard uh, that it was around here. Yeah, I, town. I heard it and then I saw it and... I know where it is. <laughs> what, what was the what was the point of lying about that if you're just, just going to tell her anyway? I wanted to see if I could do it. Wow! So proud um, of you. <laughs> so it's you. You know where it is, where the tiger is. Yeah. Can you tell me where it is? Yeah. I will find it regardless. Yeah. It, uh, you what? haven't found it. You haven't found then. it yet. So I think you're I've making been... some some pretty. Sorry, I love you. <laughs> uh, my skills are very... Uh, I have a very particular set of skills that um, I've trained and honed with this this vampire hunter. My tracking skills are very decent, however, 
as you probably know in the town, they're not very welcoming for two Vistani, and I can only turn invisible for so long. So, if I don't know what I'm looking for, I've been doing a slow sweep of the town. I haven't gone through everything yet. It's not in the town, that's why. It's not in the town. It's not in the no. town. Where is it? Outside the town. Ha <laughs> ha! Would you mind walking me there? We can do. We can't do it today. We, we have some other things we need. Got to. dinner plans. I'm wearing pants. Okay. Um. Just let me get this straight. You found a saber tooth tiger. Yeah. Yeah. Henceforth, you know, possibly where my my mentor is. Yeah. Yes. And you're going to do that because you need to go to a dinner where he needs to wear pants. Yes. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my carriage. Okay, we'll talk to you later, buddy. We'll be back. Yeah, if you want help, we'll be back. Help for... Get out. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> uh, and so you get out of the, the cart and you just hear behind you just this... Uh, uh, just this sigh. Guys, I feel like that went really well. That was good. I feel like that went really well. Are we doing that sarcasm thing again? No. Because I feel like that went terribly. I don't know what to think. Okay. <laughs> so I just... She seems like very valuable... A uh, valu- valuable asset. Maybe we shouldn't piss her off? That's why I told her about the tiger. But you didn't tell her where it was. Yeah. yeah. What? It's what? in the town. It's like it's not really in the town. It's like clo- it's like town adjacent. It's not. T- I mean, we don't have time to show her now, do we? I don't know. What are we doing? Whatever we want. Whatever we want. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rufio, I mean, what I guess we technically we do. We do have time. If it's two o'clock, we te- we have six hours, and okay. I mean, we have to swing back that way anyway, technically, to pick up. His he had to get alterations done to his. Oh, yeah, that's true. oh, that's right. Then yeah, let's. I, I mean, time. all right. Hey Peggy, we'll go back. You probably should yeah, call her we're that. We're not gonna. We, please, yeah, we're gonna go back. Okay, you're gonna try gonna to go back into the garage. My, I'm gonna poke my head in. That's what her name was. And you see her, and she's she currently has her hand, her head in her hands, and she looks up. Yes. Do you want to go see a tiger? <laughs> no. Please go. Are what about sure? a saber tooth tiger? No. I'm okay, thank you. But we like Ow. we have time. We have time. Mm. Like we have we have time. Mm. We have time. Oh, now you magically have time. We have time. I, you, we didn't yeah. have a watch before. Um what time is it? <laughs> it's like two. About three it's like fingers. Fuck off a clock, right? No, it's like two o'clock. Please leave. It's, it's like, like two. It's Please like three leave. fingers. It's like three fingers. Dirt's like, actually, it's more like three and a half fingers, but yeah, whatever. It's coming. <laughs> You're bad at this. You're bad at this. My fingers are smaller. No, but like, larger. do you want to, we can show you where the tie, yeah, yeah. Like we can, I'll find it. There's a guy that like, we should, you should probably know. He's, he like, is a bard, did, did, he's dressing up as the bard? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Have yeah. you ever seen him without his hat? He wears a hat. He does. He wears a very extravagant hat that he never takes off. No. No. Take off the hat. Can I have the hat? No. He'll probably break your hand or kill you if you try to take off the hat, but this what is if- amusing to me. I'm gonna I take feel like hat. you're you're like undervaluing our skills a little bit. Mm. I'm just saying. Mm. We found the tiger. You didn't find the tiger, and we're willing to help you. I'll probably find it. I mean, or we could just show you, and you could continue eh. on with your, like, Please. make it a little quicker. Okay. Um, How am I going to get in? To wherever we're going? I mean, he picked the lock last time. He can probably pick the lock again. So the plan is to release the tiger? No. The tiger's in a cage in a thingy. Can you describe the thingy, please? It's a cart. Yeah, you know this thing we're in now? <laughs> it's like that. So it's, it's a only different. Cart. Yeah. Maybe. It's a wagon. There's barn. There's bones. Probably because he's feeding it. Yes. People? <sighs> Men? It does, uh, it can smell out and kills, uh, evil Vistani, so... So, like, if I were to release this saber tooth tiger, which I didn't do, what would happen to me? 
I don't know. I haven't seen it eat a halfling before. Hmm. I haven't really run the into them. The odds are in my favor. But we haven't run into them yet. I don't know if they think it might be a, like a good snack. Hmm. The odds are not in my favor. Called you a snack because you're little. No, it's because I'm cute. Why not both? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm taken. Good. <laughs> <laughs> not wanted. I'm, I'm not. Just, uh, That's good to know. All right, let's go free that tiger. <laughs> Please don't, don't do that. I, mm, Please don't do that. Let's not. N- no, not not that. Okay, let's go to dinner. No, we're gonna take her to the cart. I uh, no, I'm I'm fine. Yeah, no, we're gonna go to the cart. Would you like to try to make me to go to the cart? Yeah, I'm gonna cast hold person. Okay. Oh, uh, what is it? A wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Okay. I have to look at what her saving throws are. Oh, good. Go ahead. I mean, doesn't she just have to make... Uh, so what is it? A oh, 14? 14. Okay. Uh, you see her and her body just goes... <clears throat> hey, Shark, get her really quick. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, oh, boy. Got it. You want to pick her up? I guess so. Okay. Go ahead. Do a roll strength check for me. Uh- See is it an advantage since she's held? Uh, I mean, she's not squirming, so it's a straight roll. Uh, yeah, I succeed. <laughs> What'd you get? 24. Yeah, okay, 24. <laughs> so you're able to, and she's, the position she was kind of in, she was kind of hunched over because she was, it's a small space. And so now when you try to pick her up, she's just in this weird, like, <clears throat> and you hear her, like, grunting. How? Give me hold person's uh, range. It's How all, long is it? Uh, it's only for a minute. So we have to move. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is, uh, it's a ranger area of 60 feet. Okay. Is she, um, is she fully armored? Like she yes. have a weapon and everything? She does. Okay. You're going to hold on to that? Well, I was, well, I was thinking of being nice. And if she didn't have it, I was going to take it for uh, her. Got it. But also now that I know she has everything, is there anything I can take? <laughs> no, uh, let's not roll do that. a uh, perception. Three. She can still see you. I mean, well, you not could, if you leave the cart first. You could see the the buckles that are on her. You see the sword that's still attached to her back, and then she has an axe on her hip. But, no, I meant in the cart. Oh, in the cart. Yeah. There's the there's the holy water vials. It looks like, uh, and then different kind of arcane pouches and jars and and whatnot. Do we have holy water? Yes. Yes. How many? Six. However many vials we had. I think I wrote it down here. <clears throat> Yeah, I bought. I, <clears throat> yeah, I was gonna say because oh, yeah, he gave us I, two as well, and I bought five vials from the store. He gave us three vials then. Okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna swipe a couple of those. Okay. Just like, two. how many are there? Uh, they they're all lined around, so there's like at least a good like forty or fifty. It's just oh, like, mm. I'm just gonna take like two more. Okay. Um. So yeah, we uh we run. Okay. Uh, while you are running, um, okay, that's fine. Start running. <laughs> we running. Uh, you run for about a minute. Yeah. And let's see where you get to. Before <laughs> she gets let go. This is gonna be fun. I didn't think we were gonna have a fight yet, but <laughs> you're gonna fight her. <laughs> Great. She's not gonna take that. <clears throat> um, that's fine. We have such good ideas. So as you guys are leaving, like you're going down, like around the camp, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> when? Uh, everyone roll initiative. <sighs> you guys are going to fight Amelia Clark. Nice. About it. Uh, 18. Okay. Yeah, 18. Ooh, nice. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see what Dirt gets. 18. Good on Dirt. So three of you are going at the same time. What's Peggy's real name? Esmeralda. 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 And then what is it to? Oh, he got a 19, so he goes first. And then Esmeralda goes at that point. Okay. So it is Dirt, uh, you two. You can go first. Thank you. Of course. Actually, you should go first. Okay. Because then I can come up next to you. Sure. Um, Let's do that. Jump on your shoulders. Shart. She rolled out low. Esmeralda. Ooh. Lucked out. 
Okay. Remember, boys. Two Let's attacks. do this. Are we doing non-violent lethal damage? Absolutely. What are we doing? Yeah. We're not. We're not. We're doing fist fights. I'm. I'm down to fist fight. Okay, down the clown. Fist fight a lady? <laughs> yeah. It's better than sword fighting a lady. That's because you don't yeah. have a sword. I do have a sword. <laughs> sword Actually, I have a great sword. I got a pee. Real great. It's not a claymore. Like. In real life? I was talking about with your penis sword. Oh, I thought you meant you had to go to the bathroom. No, I was talking about my unit. Oh. Okay. So, uh, as you're running, uh, Shart, you feel uh, a thud on the back of your head, and you drop Esmeralda as she tumbles down in the forest. Okay. That wasn't fucking cool. If you want to fight, let's fucking fight. We don't want to fight. We want to take you to the cart. That was the goal. And I said no. Yeah. Well, here we are. So we're already like halfway there, kind of. I don't know what's going on. They're not halfway there. I, I know we're not. <laughs> okay. Uh, she is going to cast, just to get things rolling. Uh, she is going to cast. I think I have it here. Good. Grapple. Grapple. Let's see here. So she's going to cast Firebolt on what? Set. Let's set up our characters so we know where we are. Okay. How does she get And what? Surprise round. So. There's. She shouldn't get a surprise round. <laughs> this is horse shit. I think so. Uh, what is it? So I'll say she jumps like that, and then you're all kind of here. All right, then, Absidy, would you like to... Oh, Dirt is going to be the first one to go. My bad. So let's see. Dirt is going to... Look at you and like, what, what do I do? Do I hit her? Do I, do I, th do I throw magic at her? What, sh what should I do? Uh, magic missiles force damage, right? Think so? Yeah, that one. Magic missile. Okay. Um, I don't think I gave him magic missile. I gave him witch bolt instead. He'll do the lightning one. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna like paralysis is good, right? Yeah, it's great. Okay, it's kind of what we need. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and cast witch bolts. Which you see this lightning energy start on his fingertips, kind of like what you saw earlier with Esmeralda, and when he unleashes it on his uh. Out of his hand, you see it kind of just halfway through, just short out. Yeah, that, that didn't work, did no, it? No, it didn't. I know it didn't. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you're still learning. Okay. Uh, Absidy Rufio, you're up. We uh, don't want to fight you. Yeah, I don't want to... to I, I, we don't want to fight you. Like, that's not a thing that I necessarily want to do. That's interesting, me. because you just took me when I said no. Man, that is all the movement that I have. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Shield of Faith. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, so we're just I doing non-lethal, right? Can't, yeah, I can't hit her. I mean, I could like javelin her, but I don't want to do that because it's just going to piss her off more. Uh, and then I will use my action to... I'll, I'll pull out my greatsword. And uh, cut my finger and use Bane. And I'll cast Bane on her. Okay. What does that do? It's 1d4 subtracted. Yeah. From, from damage. Her, her damage. Yeah. yeah. Up to three creatures of your choice. Can uh, You can see within range must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target fails the saving throw, an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving roll. Okay. And then, uh, Absidy, did you go up yet? No, I haven't done anything. Okay. So I'm going to move up here and use my bonus action to persuade her to not fight us. Okay. Bonus action, persuade? Yeah. What are you going to say to her? Hey, um, I don't know what's going on. I don't want to fight you. Uh, can we be friends? I'll take you to the tiger. Roll. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, she looks at you and Shard. It's your turn. <clears throat> oh, so she she didn't do anything. Well, we you know this is all happening within the same kind of time frame. One, two. And it's not her turn yet. She can't really do anything yet. <clears throat> I'm Have gonna uh, grapple. You're gonna hold her. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll a strength check. Thirteen. Thirteen. Hmm. Thirteen plus or no. just thirteen total? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Uh, as you wrap your arms around her, she is able to kind of like slick in yeah. and out of your arms. And then it is her turn. Let's see here. She does get... Okay. She is going to take her hand axe and she is going to throw it at Absidy. Uh, I think that means no. I catch it. And uh, what is your armor class? 14. 14? Okay. And you see it, and it just, right between your legs, it just sticks. And you hear it like, do 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 as it sticks in there. Uh, she's going to use, she has multi-attack. So she's going to go ahead, and she's going to punch at Shart. Uh, Shart does a 15 hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she also has to roll the d4. Oh, the d4 minus, right. Okay. Uh... Well, I have to do the D4 first for the unarmed strike. And then subtract the D4. Is it from damage or from, no, the, it's attack? from the attack? attack roll. Oh, from the attack roll. Then it's uh, 12. Does not hit. Does not hit. Okay. And then she's going to do it again. Okay. That didn't hit. So she's just kind of like smacking into you. And it's just hitting drywall, basically. Where it's just like... Or sheetrock. Mm-hmm. It feels nice. Nothing's happening. <laughs> And she distances herself. Please, leave me alone now. I would like to go back to my wagon. And it's Dirt's turn. And Dirt's like, he has his, uh, he, at this point he's pulled out his bow. And he has it trained. He's like, do you, do you no, want me to do? No. But. No. Okay. Bolt, please. I, okay, again? Yes. Keep again. trying, kid. You gotta learn. We're not trying to wound her. And you see him charge it up again, and it's still a relatively, I guess, new spell to him. And he puts his arm out, and just, it just shorts out again. It's not working. Yeah, no, I noticed that. You need to focus. Okay, Rufio, Absidy, you're up. Um, I'll move. And, and attempt to grapple okay. her. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So Bane's only against attack or it's against checks as well? Uh, saving throws as well is what it okay. said. So it's just strength checks we're doing right now. We're not doing saving throws. I'm going to double check to make sure, but I think it was just saving throws. Okay. Attack roll, saving throw. Got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That is a natural one. Can't you re-roll? Wow. Ones? Oh, I... No, it's on damage only. Oh, yeah. That's pretty great because I rolled a four. <laughs> oh, wow. So you kind of put your, your arms around her, and she smells nice, but she kind of look, backs off and <clears throat> smacks you in your in your shoulder as she she breaks the, the attempt at the hold. Uh, I'm going to try and grapple her again. You're going to try to? Oh, with your second attack? With my second sure. attack. That is a 19. Okay, let me roll against it. See what we got. Okay. You do have her currently grappled. And as she goes up with the second half, you kind of scoop your your left arm and you kind of pull her tight to your body as she's kind of like flailing and she's kind of in this weird hockey stance where she can't really like elbow back. Look, we're not trying to fight you. We're trying to take you and help you. I don't need your help. Do you? We, we have a dinner, but it's important. It's not that we're not doing something because we wanted to go hang out as buddies. We have a lot of shit to do in this town, okay? Calm down. Okay, well, I don't I don't need to be another list on your fucking list of things to do. Well, you're not. We have to go back there anyway. This is just it worked out too well. We have to go back to where it is anyway. And that doesn't make you weirded out cuz that weirds me out. I mean, we had to go back to get clothes for dinner tonight. It's not like we had to go back there and like jerk off or something i don't you're not good with words please let go of me <clears throat> nope you know this is incredibly what threatening doing? correct yeah it's absidy's turn yeah what are you doing oh i thought it was my turn my bad absidy your turn um okay i'm gonna pick up the hand axe mm-hmm. and then i'm going to move up to her okay and i'm gonna drop the hand axe mm-hmm. and i'm gonna move back a little bit <laughs> Peace offering. I don't want to hurt you or be hurt by you. I use my bonus action to persuade again. Okay, go ahead and roll a persuasion. 
Nat 20. Ooh. Okay. She looks at you and she goes, listen, I appreciate this in this weird way of you, I don't know, holding me down. Because, you know, that's how you talk to someone who's mad at you. Um, this works. This is great. This got really out of hand. Yeah. Shart, you're up. <clears throat> Listen, we're, uh, and this doesn't seem like it, but we're actually, like, okay people. Um, I'm not really good at words, but, like, you helped us. We just want to help you, I think, right? Yes. Y- yeah. Yeah. That's all we're trying to do. Okay. Is that a persuasion? Because I'm not good at that. <laughs> no, you're just. Uh, you can roll persuasion if you want. Roll persuasion. Good. You, thank you for bringing it up. What'd you get? Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> That's not bad. Considering I have no modifier on that. Okay. Uh, as you look at her, she she kind of relaxes in your grip, and she goes, "Can you let me go now?" Yeah, and I'll let her go. Okay. And she kind of. Shrugs it off. You know I could have killed all of you, correct? Uh, I believe it. Yeah, we we saw. Well, he didn't. He was down, but we saw you fight. We know. Okay. And you see her pick up the hand axe and she puts it on her side. So how are we sneaking me into? Is it in the town, or you said it was outside the it's town? It's like it's town adjacent. It's in the town. Is it in the town? In we the have town. to go in through the gate. I thought it was outside that. Can't she turn invisible? Can't you turn invisible? I used that already when I thought I was being followed. Hey, Absidy, don't you have a shitload of cloaks? I have many cloaks. <laughs> what kind of cloaks? The kind you wear. Black. Does that help? Mm, let me see them. I hand her cloaks. Okay, so she looks at all the cloaks, and they're all, like, ratted and torn, because we used them as a rope bridge at one point, <laughs> and we used them, like, in so many uses. I feel like that we don't have many cloaks anymore. I think it's, like, a it's cloak just one. I have four. I have four. Yeah, but, like, we've been using them for stuff. Like gave three two. of them are stretched out. In yeah, one. Like, like they're kind not. Of normal. They're not like great cloaks anymore. <laughs> We've used them for so many things. Are these? Are these cloaks that worship Strahd? What? What? And she looks on the inside, and there's like this patch that has like an S on it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> See, yeah. I can't read. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have another fucking problem. I no, 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 I- no, 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 no. That's not. No, no, no. And you see the zzzzzz, and not she us. starts charging up that lightning. Oh, I thought God. the S stood for super. It means hope, where he's from. <laughs> <laughs> it's a river. I'm not <laughs> I'm not from around here. None of us are, to be fair. Real persuasion. All of us are the same. Just him. Ooh, not great, but I have a good persuasion modifier. Uh, 12. Let's find out. She looks at you, and you see the z- z- you see the lightning kind of dissipate in her hands. Where'd you get those? Uh, from a demon house. A demon house? Well, that's not very surprising. It's his house now. I own it. Yeah. Property rights. It's You're a making thing. it really hard not to kill you guys with lightning. You know that, right? Yeah, we're not great with words. And then all you hear in the back, Dirt going, "What are we doing?" <laughs> Dirt, come come here. Come here. Get you just come where we are. The child's name is Dirt. His name's Fear, but we call him Dirt. Why do they call you Dirt? And he goes, honestly, I have no fucking idea. Hey, watch your mouth. Because you're our foundation. (laughs) What? Don't worry about it. (laughs) It's kind of a compliment. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I've just uh, been called that, and Esmeralda is like, maybe not calling him that would be nice. But it's like a pet name. He's a pet. Kinda. <laughs> you Once again, you're making it harder and harder to trust you guys. You know that, right? Yes. But we're Fear- adorable. Fear. Fear. That's debatable. It's not. I'm not adorable. I'm taken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taken. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> you want to see your family crest? I have it. <laughs> <laughs> um... And so, yeah. Do do the guards know your face? They know. They know I'm Vistani by my complexion. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm brown. I mean, there's other brown people. There are, but, you know, I don't really have anything that looks Barovian on me. When can you use your 
invisibility again. Tomorrow. Mm. It's a day thing. Okay. How about this? How about we meet up, I don't know, outside the gate. And then I'll sneak in with you. That That's a good... I like that. I have good ideas because I'm smarter than you. Yeah, not see, we're not that. we're not debating mm-hmm. that. Uh, you just weren't being very conversational. Do you know why I wasn't being very conversational? Because when you're I asked angry the person. first time, and yeah, but I have the <sighs> capacity to be angry. Yes. What? No way. So what time do you want to go? That was good. Yeah. Good sarcasm. Up top. Whatever works best for you. What I don't want you to be tired from your wonderful dinner that you're having. Do Thank you, you. Know anything about Lady Fiona? Um, I mean, not much. I haven't been inside the actual town. Have you like heard anything? Not really. Mm. That's who we're having dinner with. I wasn't sure. With the Lady Fiona. Yeah. She sounds very regal. That everybody keeps saying yeah, that. Why was I invited? I have no idea. I bet ba- you barely fit in the cart. You weren't invited there. Um, Stupid pants. How how dangerous is this uh, this Fritz von Vieger? What did you call him? Frit, Frit, Fritz, not Fritz. Ooh, yeah, Fritz Dolph von Vieger. Van no, no, that's the Clockwork Man. Sorry, different guy. How dangerous is? I don't remember. Oh, it's Rudolph van something. Richten. He is. He has a watchtower that is a few days out from here. That That's the first place I went. And it is... If there's any indication of the security that he has on his watchtower, is any indication for how he is as a person, then I would say, don't piss him off, but take the hat. <coughs> I'm going to take so, that hat. So piss him off <laughs> by taking the hat? Sure. I might not see you tomorrow if you do it tonight. So we do it tomorrow. So we do it tonight. So we do it tonight. You might die. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. No, I, I'm I was young. Being, I, I was being die. coy. <laughs> yeah. No, we we figured that was a thing. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Great. Okay. So we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, begrudgingly, yes. I'll be the one with bells on. You're very. You excited. shouldn't do that. They'll definitely catch you coming into the. It was a figure of speech. Sarcasm. I knew that. I think. I knew that. Yes, I will be with Bells. Did I, did I do that? I think you did it. Okay. What are your names again? I don't know if you've ever told me them. You just, you know, kind of took me and then started leaving with me to bring me to a place I didn't want to go. But, to. like, you actually kind of wanted to go. Then I don't think this is a no means yes kind of situation. That's in different ways, like maybe throws of passion or if someone was I like her. chasing because. after me and I wanted them to chase me back. I'm Absidy. Wait, no. I'm Absidy. Okay. Yeah. He's dirt. He's, and yeah. dirt's like, no, nah, it's fucking whatever. <laughs> Shart. I haven't heard that one before. Was, did half you, orc. Did you make your name or did you get get that name? <laughs> like I even had a family. Thanks for bringing it up. Oh, he's sensitive. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, you... My name's uh, Rufio. Rufio. Yeah. Did you make that name up for yourself as well? Nope. Oh. I had a family. They're gone now, but, like, I had one. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. It was pretty great. Was it? No. Okay. Yep. Do you have other brothers or sisters that are named, like, Shim Sham and Dorito or, or <laughs> something else stupid? You know what? I had a bird named Shim Sham, and he's gone, too. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Well, so, from what I've gathered is, you're bad vampire hunters. You can't keep parakeets, and the pets that you do keep are children. This is going to go great. Sounds about right. About We're right. doing great. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's pretty on oh, the nose. And you have a girlfriend. I mean, maybe. You mentioned it like flashback 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so I will meet you outside of the gates. We'll go about a good mile into the woods, and then I'll find you there. We'll okay. meet at 7. 7. Sounds good. AM or PM? <laughs> AM. It was in the morning. Wait. It's, it's morning time. Let's do... I think night might be easier. Let's do 7 p.m. That was my thought. We have dinner at 8. Not no, tonight. Tomorrow. tomorrow night. Oh. God, you're pretty. <sighs> oh, my God. Thank you. <sighs> and I'm the dumb one. 
and he she turns around and she starts going back to her coach. Her Bye. stage coach. And uh, you see the kind of like the salute. Sleep well. Kind of stops. <laughs> It's two o'clock. And then she keeps walking. <laughs> when she goes to sleep, God. You're not good with the ladies, are you? You know what? I'm working on it. Well, uh, that went well. It went something. <sighs> let's, um, let's go get me pants, I guess. Yeah. Nothing like pants. Okay, so let me bring the map back up. So, you start going up to the, um, up the walkway and you go back to the, the gate where those two gentlemen were, the two guards, and they go, Did you find your dog? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I'm no. so sorry for your burden. He is a burden. He I is. mean, not having the dog is a burden. Oh, no, I was talking about him. Yeah, no, me too. what they say. Yeah. Special yeah. boy. He was dropped a few times. Hey! I'm not deaf. I am so sorry. <laughs> I like that he lowered his... <laughs> Thank you. And the doors open as you <laughs> as you walk in, unless you're not walking in. Watch your tone. I am sorry. Shart. Shart. It's okay. It's not. It's not no, I know you're very sensitive right now because of of your sweet sweet golden potato. I I get behind Shart and I start pushing him. It's not. Now's not the time. <sighs> now's not the time. Hop along. Fine. Push. And so you begrudgingly you walk in and the gates close back up and you're at the uh, the entrance of Velaki. You see the church, um, which is a couple of hundred feet down, and then it's more they're more into the center of what you're looking for. So what are we doing? Uh, I would like to. I feel like we haven't. Uh, are we in the? By the square where the the barracks are, where they're you keeping people. You can be. You have to go in a little bit. It's about maybe a forty minute walk, but you can. Oh, uh, okay. We're not on that that part yet. No, you're in. Do the, we have anything so, we need to do at the church or anything? So the around? east is a couple of houses. It's kind of oblong, like ocarina shaped. So you're at the with the part you blow into on the top. So you're kind of at the front, uh, and where you want to go is more towards the the middle end of the ocarina. Um. So, do you think you're it's only been about an hour. Would their would their clothes be ready yet? It's I don't. She said it would probably be ready around five or six. I think. Okay, so I would. Do we? I'm gonna go to the church. You're gonna go to the church. I'm gonna go to the church. Okay. Uh, and that's everything else is on the other side of town, right? About forty yeah. minutes away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the church. I'm gonna go to the church and uh, do a quick one, two, three to whore. Be like, hey, man, what's up? What's up, girl? How you doing, baby? Uh, so Father Lucian's in there. He's like, "Oh, you're you're back so soon." Yeah, I just wanted to grab a quick prayer. Certainly, certainly. Uh, please, by all means. So I'll go over in the corner and like just let him know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, to to watch over me and my party, especially tonight. We don't know what we're getting into. It could be an ambush or a an right. uh oh. An oopsie doodle. An oopsie doo. <laughs> uh, and that I did not mean to uh, upset this woman, but like, thank you for giving me the ability to upset this woman. Because <laughs> you're kind of into her. I'm kind of. She likes it rough. And I held her in place. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you spend the next like 15 minutes. What I would you guys assume doing? you're with me as well, because that's where Irina Yeah, is. I scamper off to okay. say hi to Irina. And uh, she goes, oh, you're back so soon. Yeah. Not a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of. It got weird. Uh, I got you these vials. Here you go. I give her two holy water vials. Oh, thank you. This is, this is wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. And she, it's kind of like the room that she's kind of been set up in. You see, at this point, she's kind of unpacked, and she. <laughs> you see her kind of. She's not in her armor. She's just in regular common clothes, and uh, it looks like she had like a, like a journal out that she was kind of like writing into either to be sent up in smart or she's trying to keep a record of everything and she puts the vials on the windowsill and you see they kind of like hit the sunlight and they there's like a little rainbow spectrum inside the room now uh by the windowsill and yeah she's, oh that's nice yes it is very nice so how's the area how's your room good about at this yeah i'm nervous <laughs> you, don't be why are you nervous i don't know because i'm little doesn't matter. So, like, 
Do you want to make out? Do we have time to do that? Rufio! Yeah, we're, we're good. Close and fade to black. Okay. I'm good. Uh, Shark, what are you doing? Um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna just, uh, get church. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, you should <laughs> hang out with the little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy so sad. You're like, you don't know what to do. Um, so, yeah, what do you what do you want to do? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't really have anywhere to go, so I guess I'll just kind of hang out outside the church while you guys are churching. Okay. <laughs> you see uh, Milovic, which is the, the teenager, yeah. and then, you see Yeska, which is the little boy. Yeah. And Yeska is still trying to climb a tree and talking to his bear. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to get to the top of the of the tree because uh, that's the best vantage point for attacking things. So you stay here and you keep watch. And then when the vampires come, I'll go down and I'll kill them. Let's see if he gets <laughs> off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he botched it. <laughs> So he just he gets up a good halfway of the tree and he's just kind of like stuck, and you see him like slowly just kind of go <laughs> and he's like ow 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 ow, damn it! Hey kid, yeah, you need help. I uh, I'm I don't know if you know this, but I'm a strong warrior and strong warriors don't need help; they need allies. So are you part of the Eska army or are you not? <laughs> I don't answer to anybody, but if you need help, I'll help you. If you would like to make a temporary alliance with me and help me get up the tree, I would like that very much. And Dirt is actually with you, and he's like, are all nine-year-olds this annoying? Yeah. Was I this annoying? Yeah, Someone you outside? still are this annoying. I'm not. I'm not trying to climb up a tree. Yeah, try and do a lightning bolt again, okay? I will. <laughs> and you're not going to like it. Bring it. You know what? I'm going to pray so I don't bring it to you. That's how much heat I'm packing. And he goes awkwardly into the church. See you later, prayer boy. <laughs> and uh, so, are you part of the Yezgin army or are you not? What would be your name, old great general? General Shark. That sounds like something that happens when you eat too many bananas. But what do I know? Not much. You're nine. So I'm nine and a half. So... <laughs> I'll have you know. Do you want to get in the tree or not? Yes, please. Desperately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I pick Yeska up. I toss yep. him on my shoulders. Okay. And so that way he can climb into the tree. This is like, I'm as tall as a tree now. Do you think maybe I'll be like, as this big? Huh? How Do you think I'll grow up to be this big? No. No? <laughs> bigger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be bigger than you. No. See, see, I'm I'm a half orc. And, and you're not? How do you know that? Because don't you're assume, dude. because you don't look like me. Well, you know there are other people that look like you around here. Are they half orcs? Maybe. Uh, they usually, you know, they try to go to the castle or they go into woods, and that's the, usually the last time I see them. So maybe don't go to the woods. What, or the what, do you, what, like, what are these people that you're talking about? Oh, uh, you know, people who have swords and bows and arrows, and uh, then like warriors, adventurers. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he burps in your ear. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds just like it smells like goldfish and lunchables. What is it? off the damn Sorry, I have breakfast oil. It's coming back up. Sometimes when I do activity, I get burpy. That just happens. A little, you know, a little kid stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think, I think I'll be all right, but. Yeah, no, you you might get big, but you you probably won't get sharp big. I think my goal is going to be to get sharp big now. Go for it. It's going to be great because I'm going to be bigger than you, and then when you come back and you'll be a frail old man, I'll break you in half. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, do it, kid. We're allies. For now. You're part of the yes game. Oh, for now. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I answered to nobody. Okay. So you put him up in the tree, and you start turning down, and he's like, sneak attack. <laughs> gonna jump on your back <laughs> i got him right where i want to bail and he's just kind of flailing <laughs> and you ever wear like a necktie that's only slightly too tight <laughs> it's like that and he's got you he's like go to sleep go sweep bear i got him i got him right where i want him and the bear you see at this point has just gone <laughs> it just fell over he's like i got him bail alliance over <laughs> pick the kid up by the shorts <laughs> 
Uh, okay. So. Yeah, I, I wanted this to happen. It's all part of my 12-step plan. Well, we're on part three. That's nine more steps. Can't wait to see four through 12, kid. It's going to be a doozy. Watch yourself. If I'm around and you need help getting in the tree again, just let me know, okay? I, I will. Good. He lives. I live here. You know where I'm at? <laughs> he just puts his arms up. I love this kid. I want this kid to be your new NPC. <laughs> um... Okay, so, <laughs> Rufio, while you're in the church, Dirk kind of just stands, like, sits next to you and kneels down next to you, and he's like, hey, do you, what? I'm just, I'm doing, I'm, like, doing a cool pose. Because, <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't care about stuff. We care about a lot of stuff. Yeah, we care about, like, boobs and things. <laughs> Are you, are you are you okay? No, no, no. I was trying to look cool in front of Shart, and Shart told me I was bad at being a witch you, bolt thing, and I it was not. I didn't you know it's it. not. You're being cool in front of Shart is is not like a good goal to have. But he smells like poop. I mean, that's just when he sweats, <laughs> which is always. <laughs> he's always hot. He is. I don't know why he's always in a cold sweat. What? Why do you need to look cool? I'm just, I just, you know, I'm, I'm part of like the group. Yes, you, you know, are. and like, you know, you got your cool like brooding thing, and shots like muscle, and absolutely is like wisecracker. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what my, my thing is. Like, am I bad boy? Like, you're definitely not bad boy. Like, I'm just like, yeah, whatever, go. And I'm like, <laughs> what's up? Did you get any cool stamps recently? Yeah, I got this really cool one in the, in the lobby. The I went boy. to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Can do you do you like you don't you don't like your your nickname? You're not a not a fan. I mean, it's not particularly my favorite. What, I mean, you, Shark kind of has a name, but that's I think he was given it. I think he, I, if you he, called he might have made it up. I'd be upset. Yeah, because that's a wet fart. <laughs> That's something that accidentally happens it's when you a eat shitty like fart. like when you eat too many bananas or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's canon. It's canon. Uh, w- would you rather us call you Fear? Um, I don't. I don't know. I just, you know, my mom is the only one who calls me that. So, what would you like us to call you then? So, You're part of the group. So. Oh. I'm getting, uh, I'm doing that thing where my j- my jaw kind of clenches clen- clen- up and I'll get nervous. <laughs> we'll go back, bookmark it. You're, yeah. Bookmark it. You're, you're, you're definitely going to be the bad boy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> how do, so what do, how do we, how do we do, how do we do this? How do we do this praying thing? <laughs> Since this is like the first time I've ever seen you do this. Yeah, M- most of the time I do it when I'm alone. Why? Uh, oh, not overtly something anyone's very interested in in our group. Do you think Absidy has an alignment to a god? I I think he worships himself. Yeah, exactly. You don't pray to yourself. <laughs> okay, so as he's like tongue deep, <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh... <laughs> Uh, she's like, that's just my neck. <laughs> um, Stop licking my hands. It's weird. By the way, Absidy con, uh, con save for, con save uh, for boner. not gooing. <laughs> for boner. Do a wet dream save. Nat 20. Nat 20? <laughs> it is rock solid and you're not going to pre-jack in your pants. <laughs> that's what we're going to have you roll. That's how it makes that's that's what's going to make sex scenes bearable for me. <laughs> roll for pre-jack. Um, so, and you took your pants off and you've come. <laughs> so let's uh I'm gonna so we just kind of just sit in silence and we just pray what I like to do is I I try and let him know what's going on he's he's the reason that I can do the things that I can okay so mostly I just ask for help I let him know that you know I'm being a good servant to him mm-hmm. and Sometimes he talks back. That 
sounds terrifying. Um, the first time was definitely terrifying, and I think the second time was more terrifying because then I yelled at him and he yelled at me, and it was weird. Like, how'd that go? Uh, he had a lot of nice things to say about you. Oh, that's comforting. Should I should I pray to him? Who do you think you should pray to? I have no idea. You don't really seem like a vengeful kind of guy. Not really. I mean, I say yes. Okay. Just because that's what works for me. Mm -hmm. But should I just be like open to it? And there's nothing wrong with Pelor. That was my father's god, and that's the temple we're currently in. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's try that. And uh, so the two of you sit kind of in silence, and um, after a while, I need you to roll a religion check for me. Actually, hold on. First, roll a perception check for me. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. As you're as you're praying and you're deep in thought and you're going through everything, you kind of feel like this heat and this bright light coming from the right side of you. And then as you as you open your eyes, around dirt is kind of this white aura outlining his shape as he's just kind of concentrating. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let him. Okay. Even though I'm sure it's very jarring. Yes, it is very jarring. <laughs> it's very, like, because you're a paladin, you're starting to see this different kind of, like, aura around people. Like, when you see uh, Father Lucian. Lucian, you see kind of this, like, yellow glow. But... And when you look at your hands and there are times when you, you smite, you see that red hot kind of glow. With dirt, it looks like it's just this bright, pure white kind of aura. Uh, okay. And then... Do, as I, you, do I know what that means? No. Is that what the really. religion check was for? It was going to be. I'm going to I'm gonna mention that mm -hmm. to whore before I okay. finish my, my prayer. Okay. Uh, and then do me a favor, roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Wisdom save. Yeah. Heard that. Uh, when it's highlighted, that's also with my proficiency, right? I believe so. Your, well, your proficiency would be included in it? Yeah. Oh, so okay. it'll be included in the number. <clears throat> they add it up for you, which is nice. Oh, no. Seven. Okay. So, despite trying to stay away from not be distracted by whatever the fuck's going on with dirt... Uh, your vision and your your mind starts going a little bit black, -er. and your your eyes kind of droop open. And as you're looking at the the pew, the wooden pew, everything starts going a little bit more dark and darker. And you start slowly losing consciousness as a faint, very faint crow in your head goes off, and then <laughs> uh, you snap back in. Crow? Like the like bird? Like Yeah. It doesn't... Crow, raven, whatever. Blackbird. Seagull caw. <laughs> Heard that. Heard that. Okay. Mine? Mine? So, you, uh... You gain consciousness and dirt next to you. That ore is gone. And he's just kind of... Looking around. So, uh... How'd that... How'd that go for you? Okay, I guess. Um, I kind of just... I, I I didn't reach out to Pelor exactly. I just kind of was like, Hey, gods, um, here I am. The, the, protect me and my friends. And, you know, we're trying to do a really hard task. And, you know, we could really use all the help we can get. What about you? What'd you, what'd you pray about? You know, miscellaneous things. Miscellaneous we're, things. Uh, I, I thanked Hor for my abilities. I let him know what what the plan was and to watch over us tonight with Lady Fiona. Um, sure. I also just told him to watch out for you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Whether you get it or not, you're very important to me. And I, I very much like Absidy and Shart both, but 
If anything were to happen to you, Dirt, I'd be miffed. Miffed is a good word. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. No, I, I would, I would be, I, I would be very besmirched if anything were to happen to you too. It's a good word. Thank you. I have been reading a lot lately. Do me a favor. Yes. Before you go to sleep every uh -huh. night, start praying. Okay. Start meditating. Try and try to focus this this power that you have. Sure. Because it's extremely powerful, but you also can't control it. Yeah. No. So that's not let's one try of my and things. harness some of that ability. Oh, okay. C cool. That's uh, yeah. Let's let's do that. And I I agree with that. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. Yes. Yes. Oh wait. Um. Father Lucia. Maybe he. Maybe he knows about. Fiona, right? Yeah. He lives here? He does live here. People live here? The people definitely live here. Yeah, they totally live. Do you want me to get Absidy? Because I'll go get him. Oh, uh, yeah. He's probably not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a knock. You guys are you're just hardcore making out. Nothing's yeah. happened yet. You got you to gotta work your way to but that. But do you have a chubby? Oh, for sure. Yeah. He, he rolled I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> slow, slow dance chub. It's hard. Also, I walked into it's the church. Hard. Now. Okay. So I'm just kind of like hanging out, waiting to see what we're doing. I'm just like kind of kicking my feet. Okay. Uh, what? Um, Absidy, it's, uh, it's dirt. We, we're going to ask Father Lucian about if he knows anything about Lady Fiona. At this point, uh, Irina is kissing your neck and tickling your neck. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Uh, I'll be there eventually. Maybe. The, I I don't know if we should all be there or you know you're smart right? Uh yeah, and I think the smart thing is to stay <laughs> more here tickling right now. <laughs> are you okay? Are you in pain? No, I'm good. Go away. Uh, sh uh, that's that's really hurtful. She bites uh, your neck. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> she nibbles a little bit. Oh, um, dirt. I'll be there. Uh, you don't understand. This is adult thing. Go away. <laughs> okay, and we'll move on from that. And dirt kind of comes into is the. He is he coming? I don't know. He sounds like he's in pain. Oh, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he said something about adult time. <laughs> he said something about getting the fuck out. Like, uh, I don't know. Dirt, go away. It, it's not dirt. Oh. Well, still go. Go away. <laughs> What's? Are you okay? Yes, I'm dirt, fine. Dirt, go away. Dirt said you were in pain. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I uh, can make it hurt a little. Bit. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Wait, you are in pain? No, go, stop. <laughs> so you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. We're going to go meet the father. I don't know if, if he told you that. We're going to go see that really holy he guy. Go away, please. In this really... I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid, bye. <laughs> okay, so you go back into and uh, Father Lucian's at his, uh, his desk and he's just kind of going through papers and... <sighs> you, what did they? You all right? There, yes, yeah. they just you know. Uh, it is hard running a temple. Oh, did he? Did he actually say what the temple was? Or you looked at it's, the? It's the Pelor. Before? You've said it before. I've said it. Yeah. I know, but I'm asking if he's said it. Before. I don't know if he's. I mean, I would recognize the symbol regardless. You would. So I would. I would say there's also another symbol there, around, but one that you haven't really picked up on because it's very generic. Uh, I'm adding things. Got it. Uh, what, what, what's wrong with said temple? I thought Pelor was popular. Pelor, yes, very popular. There is, you know, we worship the Morning Lord and Pelor, and it's in some places in other towns the Morning Lord is more worshipped, and in here it is more Pelor. Um, the Morning Lord. That's one I don't know about. Um. He is a very uh, young god. Um, not much is known about him besides his title of being said Morning Lord. Bringer of light. Uh, obviously, you can know why Barovians would worship him, because uh, we haven't seen the sun in quite some time. Quite some century. I've never actually seen the sun. I am roughly six... No, not roughly. I am 62 years old, and I have never seen the sun without clouds over it. Well, there have been many people before me, great grandfathers who haven't seen the, who hadn't seen the sun either. We have heard tales of it. 
Is the Morning Lord someone you approve of being worshipped? He seems good. (laughs) That kid outside. (laughs) (laughs) God. So impressive. He eats a lot. (laughs) Stop eating hot dogs. (laughs) Um, Is everything... Okay with the the temple? Is, yes, with yeah. the now that you have brought the bones back of Saint Andral, this is once again a hallowed place. It's just it's a long day. Despite it being only, you know, three PM, it's lots of things we have to do, make sure that, you know, everything is prepared for the festival coming up and it's just it, it, it's the What's the festival? It's the Festival of the Sun. Yes. So are are they worshipping the Morning Lord? Is that is it his Festival? I honestly, I have no idea what the burgermaster is doing at this point. Every three weeks, we have a new festival because it keeps straw the way. Does it though? That was sarcasm. Yeah, that's. There have been many on attacks that. on the city, and each time he does it, obviously we cannot say this out loud. Is there anything that happens? Are there any attacks during the festival? I feel like everybody's Not, distracted. I haven't and... seen anything during festival, but, you know, nighttime is particularly difficult. That's why I needed those bones back so desperately. Is, uh... Forget. I had something and I lost it. Uh... Has there been a change in the... I know you guys, every three weeks you have a new festival. Mm-hmm. When did that start? When did the Burgermaster start doing this? Uh, I mean, as long as he's been in power. How long has he been in power? Uh, quite a few years. What happened to the old Burgermaster? Um, it was a lineage died sickness. I mean, that happens. You'll run into it quite often here. Of course. Uh, what do you know about Lady Fiona? Oh, Lady Fiona. Uh, she is, uh, she is one of the more wealthier people in the village. Um, kind of to herself, uh, Husband doesn't isn't seen around much anymore. He's very sick. Uh, two boys. Um, she is uh, she is what they say. She's interesting. She uh, she invited us to dinner tonight. You are going to dinner? Yeah. Um, I definitely wouldn't have offered up that information, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that you think we should look out for? Well, um, without being too. Uh, opaque or you know not to try to get you boys in trouble but she is uh, she's a very odd woman she is a um, very odd normal woman honestly do you know who she worships like like a god yeah I mean I have been to our house um, about two years ago when her husband got sick and I, I prayed uh not specifically to a god because she is non kind of denominational she does not uh, believe in other kind of higher power she does uh she does like uh strad though i was gonna strad say does, does she bitch. worship strad she is she is a very strong supporter of her i guess strad has been very kind to her bloodline Shit. Mm. oh okay uh great. i'm not wearing pants anymore i gotta be able to move <laughs> Um, she is, what, you think she is vampire, or? Hope not. <laughs> okay, I have, I mean, I have, haven't seen her in the past, I don't know, 24 hours, but she can openly, she has walked into this church many times, usually to chew me out about Yaska. He likes to run around and play around the neighborhoods. Gets into trouble, that one. Broke window once, quite funny. I'm glad you support that kind of thing, Father. Oh, he's a great kid. He's gonna be a good. He's, he'll be a good uh, priest. He really likes that bear. He does. Thank you very much for that. No, of course. He has not stopped talking to it since you brought it to him like two hours ago. Just so you know, <laughs> he, he also does seem like he uh, wants to be a vampire killer. So just you know, I mean, I'll just let you know. That's. I mean, that's good. Uh, to can't. I don't like vampires. So <laughs> fair enough. You know. who, who, who does? You know. <laughs> it's uh, Lady Fiona. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know of uh, Isaac? Isaac. Isaac. Um, does he come in here often? 
who he worships. Occasionally, he'll come in and pray. Uh, it doesn't. He doesn't have like a denomination that he really. He hasn't shared with me at least who he really plays. He goes to uh, Blinsky's a lot. Um, usually comes out with a bag. Don't know what he buys there. I don't know what you need for children's toys because, quite frankly, they are terrifying. They're not great. No, they're not, not good toys. Not good. Not good. Mm-mm. But, you know, Blinsky, he does his best. He's actually pretty excited about shit he makes, but... Stuff he makes, but it's really not <laughs> super cash. Um, <laughs> he likes to make the shit. He makes it the poopy. <laughs> All right. Thanks, father. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he is he is a very strong warrior. No nonsense. Um, very strong. Those people... I'm assuming you saw people in barracks. Yes? Yes. He works directly under the burgomaster, and if he hears anyone bad talking him, they go into the barracks and they are judged. And sometimes they do not come out of the barracks, if you get my drift. So, like, if you had to say he was, like, a good guy or a bad guy, (laughs) I would say he is very stern, and he follows his lord very well. So, bad guy. Got it. Depends on who you consider bad. Him. Does he look? Does he look familiar to you? It looks kind of weird. It looks super similar. Someone you've seen recently. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, insight. Go ahead, roll insight. Just ask what he looks like. <laughs> don't tell him what to do. do I, didn't, I didn't give a description. Start. Of, is start it? fucking making out or whatever. Oh, I'm making out. Hardcore. Because if you're not hardcore. Ten. Ten? Yeah. He's lying. Thank you, Father. I I appreciate. You're welcome. Please do not do anything stupid. N- me? Never. Yeah, well, since we're going to uh, Fiona the Vampire Lover, uh, do, do, do me a solid. I'm not a religious guy, but uh, if you want to pray for us, I wouldn't say no. Oh, I've been praying for you the minute you came here. Uh, before we leave the room, my metaphorical hat. <laughs> uh, before we leave the room, can yeah. I do uh, detect good and evil? Sure. What is what are the? Uh, as an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your turn. You can see anything affected by the hallow spell, or know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet that is not behind total cover. Okay. So you kind of pulse, <laughs> and um, reaching out, you don't detect any undead. But you're getting some real heat off of dirt. Very brief. And then it goes... It kind of blacks out. So nothing celestial, but I got stuff from dirt. Not not like... You're getting kind of a celestial, like a holy energy, but mm-hmm. not like a an- angelic or like undead. Anything from the father? Any fiend? You're, no. No, no, no fiend. No. no no evil. Okay. Thank you, you get father. fiend from the little kid outside. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, made a pact with a on. demon. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yes, Garmilovich. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. So, All right. you don't really get much. You just get a little bit off of the father of being, like, a holy man, and you get a little bit off of dirt, being whatever the fuck dirt is. Yeah. Sweet. Is dirt, uh, is dirt a demigod? All right, I'll walk <laughs> yeah. out, and I'll bang on the door. We're leaving! Mm, okay. So, you can come back tonight? Maybe. What about we- tomorrow night? Definitely. It's a date. One of these nights, yeah. Tomorrow night, you promise? Before yes. you leave? Yes. Okay. Okay. Before the... <laughs> love you. <laughs> Doesn't say love you. You're not there yet. No. Kiss her on the forehead. ba bo ba bo ba bo Why do I have let him... I think she kisses you on the forehead. <laughs> they do both. Um, Let's say it's the lips. Can't can't re- meet, the, meet in the middle. You can't reach her forehead. <laughs> um, Just laying down. All right, so we're, we're walking out, yeah. and... Uh, I'll make eye contact with Irina, and I'll just be like, um, stay out of sight. Why? Is there something that you know that I don't? I think so, but I don't think it's the time to talk about it now. But it pertains to me. Yeah, what's going on? Let's go outside and talk. Let's not go outside and talk. Why? Because... Stuff could be bad. All right, getting. Come on. And she ushers all of you back into the room. Not as fun with you guys here. And Dirk's kind of like 
sitting next to like the bureau, and he's like his arms. This is my new thing. I'm trying this out. Now. I'm trying to be bad boy. Here, yeah. Shh. Seen, not heard. Yeah, bad boy. Yeah, because bad boys don't need to be seen. <laughs> they don't need heard. To... Yep. Heard. Okay. Yeah, that's what yep. I said. Yep. Still talking. <sighs> yeah. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Talking to me, not you. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, you suck at this. <laughs> when I'm learning. When we were... When we were at your house, we were in that area, which I don't remember what it's called. What, in Barovia? The village? Yeah, yeah the village. My, my... Okay. Yeah. Uh, we spoke to... Was it a holy guy? Was it Ismark that said it? I have it written down. Hold on. I think it was Ismark. Let's look at it, my additional notes. Additional notes! <laughs> uh, Gray, Revenant Planeswalker. It's before that. I'm pretty sure it was Ismark. You said I'm like it. 90% sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm we'll just, 91% we'll just... sure. <laughs> Guys. I'm glad. Um, yeah, we'll just say it's Ismark. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ismark told us that, no, it was definitely a father, because Ismark doesn't know either. He was a kid when they got her. Um, we, we kind of found out that you're not related to Ismark by blood. I'm sorry, and how do you know this? You knew this? Did I know this? I mean, Father Donovich told us. Yeah, Father Donovich told us. How long have you known this? Since Barovia? Since before we left? Yeah. You think that would have been fucking important information to let me know? I didn't think it was important information because I didn't know what complications we could see, but... Please, tell me about the complications. Now. There's not any... Then why would you tell me this? You're just, lying. Can you just trust me? Stay hidden. Oh, because I can trust you now, now that I found out you've been lying Didn't to me for months. Didn't we get you here? That was just a mission. It wasn't just a mission? We had... Because no. why Why isn't that just a mission? Are we because what, friends? We what the fuck are we? genuinely care about you as a human. Then if you care about me, then you will tell me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this was a bad idea. <clears throat> No, I'm mad at you too. Ye oh, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I don't even care. <laughs> Fear, not the time. Good. Not. I yep. know. I'm trying not to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I asked the father if you reminded him of anyone, if you looked like anyone in town, because we met someone recently that that concerns me a little bit. Is that right? Yeah. It's definitely right. And I would really appreciate it if you kind of backed up a little bit. Okay. Who in town looks like me? Ismark looks... Or, uh, Isaac looks like you. I don't know who that is. Yeah, you don't. And I want him to stay out of sight. He's the one that keeps having Blinsky make toys of you. Someone's making dolls of me? We toys of that. me? We told you that. Yeah. Did we, did we tell her that? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did we you? did. I thought we did. Well, we're telling you now. Yeah, because that's why she kept her hood up. We were like, you have to keep your face hidden, because people are going to know that like your face looks like stuff. So, wait, he is specifically making them of me, and then he is the only one who is receiving them? We we're think not so. sure about that last part. but So this person looks like me, and is making dolls of me. And at any point, you didn't think... At any point, it happened like yesterday. Wouldn't you think it'd be in important to let me know that my father, the man who raised me, was not my father? Ugh. That the bro the man that I know to be my brother, not my brother. I mean, it is what you make of it. It doesn't necessarily mean he's not your brother. We didn't know you didn't know. Yes, we did. I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. Yes, he did. Deception. <laughs> So let me let me just describe Isaac a little bit because I didn't really get a chance to. He is um, he is a darker complexion like Irina is, kind of like Zoe Saldana is my my 
headspace for Irina. So he's darker skinned, uh, fully shaved head, built like a shit brick house. He's this human man. He usually wears these different kind of, uh, it looks like wolf pelts. And uh, he has uh, different leathers. And his right arm is completely bandaged up, like all the way from his hand to his shoulder. And um, he usually carries around with him like a, uh, a giant battle axe. And he was that cool man that was yelling at those people in the barracks that you had that interaction with. <laughs> and he has the same colored eyes as Irina, which are green. Look, all we know is that he looks kind of like you, and he seems like a dick. So, sorry. We should have told you. Yeah, you should have. I'm not sorry. I don't even know. Thanks. So what, I have to stay in here now for the rest of my life? No. You have to stay in here until we can kill Izzik. You're gonna kill Izzik now? Yeah. Why? Maybe. Yes. Why? Because he's not a good person. Maybe. I'm going to kill Izzik. Oh boy. If your boyfriend's too much of a pussy to do it. <laughs> oh boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Not my problem. Do what you have to. I'm just going to walk out. Okay. <laughs> Great. <coughs> well, I will see you tomorrow night. Kiss on the cheek. That was loving. <laughs> You're like, Meh, and she's just kind of moving her head away. And as I walk away, I pull out her family crest and I kiss it and make eye contact. Bye. Bye. And shark? Uh, see ya. <laughs> and Dirt, um, he moves off of the bureau and accidentally knocks over uh, a glass. And he's like, I'm sorry. Sorry. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> um, I hit shark. Or I hit, I hit Dirt in the back of the head. Just <laughs> tell him to hurry up. Ah. I'm sorry about what's happened. I'm going to try to make sure that they don't kill anyone. And um, uh, if we have more information on this person that looks like you, uh, but, like maybe he's like your cousin or something. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, and it's, I'm, I'm rambling again. Uh, before we leave, is the father still in his office or is he out and about in the he's, temple? He's kind of out and about. He's kind of straightening everything out. I'll make sure to, to walk by him. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, Father, we appreciate everything that you've done. But if any harm comes to our friend while she's under your care, mm. you're going to be the one that pays for it. Oh, shit. That's great to know. Thanks, You want to give me, like, a crossbow or something? That was sarcasm. I don't do well with threats. Father, why'd your voice change? I don't do well with threats. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rictavio? Rictavio! <laughs> and then you notice he's wearing this really hat for no reason. Um, I understand. Uh, you have to also understand I will do my best. I am not a warrior. I am a holy man. I will protect her as best as I can. Insight? Yeah. Oh, God. Five. I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> he's telling the truth. You can roll as well. Nine. Okay. He's, I mean, he's telling the truth. And I'll thank you, and I'll go out the church. Okay. Uh, so, you you guys leave the church, um, and what are, we, what are we doing now? Real quick question. Sure. The um, amulet that I have with mm -hmm. the family crest, yes. is that of the adopted family, or did she have that when she was dropped That's off? That's the Baron crest. The, it's so the, it's, it's her, her adopted family. it's her adopted family okay mm -hmm. didn't know if I needed it's the same one that like Ismark had on and okay yeah so no you're cool. okay what are we doing uh, so smooth move telling her she's adopted what time is it <laughs> uh I would say it's about when you got there it was like two thirty maybe this whole interaction might have been another thirty minutes you're at three three o'clock they said close at five um. 
I mean, you can just dick around the town. Yeah, you can like dick around and. Whatnot. I'm gonna see if I can find a dagger. Okay, you'd have to go back to the blacksmith. Yeah, <clears throat> I just want a normal, straight up dagger. Okay, so that would be that's about a forty minute walk into town. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> if you're not, you know, up to you if you guys want to talk or do anything while you're walking. Well, I'm gonna respond to Shark, and it, and uh, if I didn't bring it up, nobody was going to. You guys should talk amongst yourselves in role playing mode because I need something for my head. Do you have Tylenol anywhere? Yeah, I have a yeah. Eight hundred milligram my... acetaminophen. Where is it? It's in my I'll look bathroom. It. I'll look for it. It's in the medicine cabinet. Got it. You should have been the one to tell her, not me. Then why'd you say it? Because you weren't gonna tell her. You didn't tell me to say it. You should have just said it. Why? I wanted to keep kissing her, <laughs> and now she's mad at me. Good. You're not good. Okay. Well. Now that we know that Lady Fiona might suck, what are we going to do about that? Because now, that knowing that she worships Strahd, I feel like tosses a whole nother bit of, like, fuckiness into all of this. Well. What, what can we do? There's really nothing. I'm going to go try to get information throughout the town. See if there's anyone else in the Thieves Guild that you may or may not know about. I'm going to go talk to some people. You're part of what? What? Huh? Miss you. <laughs> You're I'm, so cool. I'm right here. You're oh so my, cool. Dude. It's like you don't even care about what I just said. I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the other side of the pillow. Cool. Cold and stale. Cool. Yeah. I'm cool. yeah. So whenever we get to, whenever we get to a, a splitting point, like whenever you, you go get the dagger, I'm going to go yeah. just talk to I'm going to throw out Thieves' Cans until okay. someone... Until it hooks on to someone? Yeah. Okay. So, um... About... You do this for about 15, 20 minutes of just saying weird things to people that people think you're just basically drunk. Um, nothing really catches your eye as anyone responding mm-hmm. in Thieves' Can. Everyone's just kind of like, yeah, I guess it is pretty nice out today. <laughs> Even though there's no sun... And though you included, hey, the sun shining, I too also like to sleep on concrete steps and relax. <laughs> and I like hedgehogs, sure. And you don't, you don't really find anyone, at least in the the region that you're kind of going through, because you're going through like every single part of the. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing in that immediate area and. Yeah, trying to my go my, my plan is just to meet back up with them at the place. Okay. Which I told you guys. Retroactively. Yeah, the blue the blue water in. Okay. So I mean at that point it take it gives you a good about like you kill an hour and a half of just looking for anyone that responds and you're not getting any bites. Okay. And you eventually get back to the blue water in and you're just kinda at the bar and Rictavio is playing the bar. Am I by myself? Yeah, you're by yourself because okay. you're waiting for them. Okay. Uh and then meanwhile, if you guys want to what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna go into <coughs> the blacksmith and <clears throat> I will talk to Pietro. <laughs> Hello, my, my friend. Good to good to see you again. Good to see you as well. And you hear kink, kink, like he's working on the on the armor. Uh, real quick. Right. Uh, do you have any daggers for sale? Daggers for Just sale. Just a regular old dagger. Sure, you want me to sharpen for you? Take that, about five minutes? That would be great. It is... Let me see how much it'd be for you. Is I pull it up on D&D Beyond. Uh, it is about... Uh, usually run about five gold pieces. I, give, I run two gold pieces for you. Oh, friends and family discount. Friends and family discount. I appreciate that. And I will, I will purchase... I'll give him three gold and tell him to keep the extra one for himself. That is... Very kind of you. A uh, big one. You have any kind of uh, any kind of weapon that I can maybe like uh, hide on my person? Uh, depends. What are you trying to? Just uh, I'm actually I'm gonna be wearing clothes later, and I'm not good with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just something that I could hide underneath. That uh, anything in particular you are looking for? I'm I'm open. Uh, usually, I mean, I'm used to using big kind of, you know, smash them, slice them weapons. I mean, so they have daggers here. They're usually pretty small. Anything a little bit bigger than a dagger that I could conceal? 
bigger than a dagger that you can conceal. Uh, let me let me look in the that, back. That's not a thing. And Shut. he he kind of just stops what he's doing, and you hear him go into the back. Um, and he leaves you guys alone for a little bit while I try to see if I can find something that's a little bit smaller or bigger than bigger a than a dagger that you can conceal. I got big hands. They look so tiny. You're worried about the optics of this? No, it just it feels weird. You, you wouldn't understand. We're gonna die. <laughs> uh, so he comes back and he has um, a short sword. Um, I mean, this is next best thing to bigger than dagger, but smaller than long sword. Short sword. Think I could like hide it against my my leg or something? You might have to pretend you are walking with limp, but sure. Because you have to keep legs straight. No, what are you? Just get the dagger. I'll just, I'll get the dagger. Sorry, thank you, thank you for looking for me. I appreciate it. No, no worries. It's uh, two golds. Unless you want two dagger, then it is. I do special discount. Three dagger for two. A uh, three gold piece for two. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I'll get, I'll get two daggers. Wonderbar. That is Sherman. Can you send those to us? I can. <gasps> and I so will get rid of my gold. Daggers. Yeah, yeah. They are. It's just something in case they take our weapons. Mm. Okay. And what else are you guys doing? Uh, Pietro, uh, before we before we leave, I know you're working very hard on my armor, and I appreciate that. Yes. Is there any way uh, the silver-lined claymore could be ready tonight? I am sorry. I'm still uh, working on the armor. I haven't finished the claymore yet. But like, it's going to be tomorrow. Were to stop working on the armor now. And start working on the claymore. Is there any way it could be ready? The claymore was pretty badly damaged. I need to make sure it is balanced and it is still sharp. And then I have to add this over to it. It is kind Got of it. a few steps. No worries. No worries. I appreciate. Is there a reason why we need this now? Uh, just uh, it's uh, it's something I like to have. It makes me feel a little more comfortable. Mm. You understand? It was it was a great weapon. Of course, no. It is a very fine weapon. It's just you know. I, I am doing my best to make sure that that weapon stays good and it doesn't. I I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all I really have. And then you got, um, <clears throat> you got two daggers, correct, Mike? Uh, yeah, I bought two. Okay. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'll hide a uh, hand, hand axe in your... and the two daggers in my person. Okay, so the dagger is in your inventory, Mike. You should see it in your equipment. Oh, refresh. And then I'm doing it for roof. Okay. Cool. What else are we doing? Yeah. I'm still doing it. Hold on. I'm just no. talking. There we go. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll head back to the Blue Water Inn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as you go back to the Blue Water Inn, you see different crowns guard. You see. You know, a new set of people in the block, in the stockades. Um, I'm going to stop and ask them what happened to the people from yesterday. The people from yesterday, they paid their sentence. Now we have no people on block. Paid, paid their sentence? They did their time. They were in the blockade for a week. Now we have new people in week. Is it still three men, two women, and two children? No, it's a different set. I would say it's about... Three, three when just three straight men. Okay, you have it now as well. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, that's all. I, that's all I really got. That's all you this got. Moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you, it takes about another forty minutes, and you walk back to the Blue Water Inn, and Absy is there. And are you drinking? What are you doing? Yeah, I got a drink for myself and a drink that I had put up onto Rictavia, like his, his, his. Um, okay. And he stage. acknowledges it, and he acknowledges you, and he nods, and drinks as he's continuously playing, and everyone's entranced by the story he's talking about of the circus, and you're kind of, the magic's a little bit gone now, as you know who he really is. Interjection? Yeah. Uh, or did we go pick up my clothes, or... No, uh, it's not so far Whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, no, I, I wasn't sure where we Well, it takes about 40 was. minutes for you to get in, so it'd be about 3, 4 o'clock by the time you're getting ready to head back out. So you can dick around for another hour if okay. you want. Because by the time you get back to the bar, it'll be 4.40, and then it'll be another 40 yeah, minute 40 minutes. walk. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. So it's up I was to just, you I was, you No, I was just checking. So, yeah. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, 
Rick Tavio's on the stage. Yes. What did he say to you when we saw him at the cart? Um, I don't remember. He threatened me. That's what I remember. It was... He threatened you. Uh, can I use my divine sense again? My detect good and evil? Sure. Anything fiend, celestial, or undead within 60 feet? No. Are we, are we there? Yeah. Yeah, you just, we just you got just there. Got back oh, from the okay. I know. What is it? You were waiting for your. Were you waiting in the town square around for your clothes, or were you wait? Are you going back to the bar with them? Well, I mean, it, it, since it's almost four o'clock, I feel like it doesn't make sense for me to go back with them if okay. I have to come back this way. So I'd say wait if yeah. you're waiting around. Okay. And I guess just, I'll just. It's just Absidy and and uh, Rufio then. Gotcha. And then I'll say for prosperity's sake, dirt's with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use my divine sense. Just okay, you don't nothing, you don't detect any nothing bangs off. Of no. How many times Ritavia? can you do that? I can do it four, but per four long times rest. a day. Okay, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, he's on stage. He's like doing doing his thing. Doing his thing. He's doing his Rictavio thing. Um, wearing his dumb hat. Look, all, all I know is it's it's a ruse. I don't know much more than that. And he's very keen on keeping keeping that up. Uh. Do we know, like, I'll, I'll I'll go over to Irwin, and uh, do you know when uh, when Rictavio kind of finishes his set mm-hmm. around when that when when is that? Uh, I mean, he usually will take break in between. He usually just leave um, when he goes to uh, Blinsky when he he gives Blinsky uh, food for his monkey. So I don't know what you're feeding monkey wolf meat. I don't know. Feeding monkey wolf. Okay. Um, around when does that when does that happen? When does he take his break? I mean, he takes break. Uh, I mean, he doesn't really have exact schedule. It's just you know, end of show is usually like seven, and then he leave, and then he come back. It's like seven to seven gig. Well, so from now until seven, he won't leave the stage not really not normally sometimes he'll come down and get the drink but it's not for very long he'll go back up to perform okay trying to get people for his circus wait he's trying to recruit people yeah he's trying to get people for a circus Hmm. he's circus traveler right he is a circus traveler why are you saying that weird why am i saying what weird this You're is putting... just how that I talk. We're gonna have words. some were ravens with us tonight, right? To to accompany us to Lady Fiona's. I mean, they will most likely be watching on the the rooftops, but we will we'll look out for you. Yes, most certainly. What what can you guys do if if something goes wrong? Wrong like who? Wrong like there's a guest in the house that we're not prepared for. A, I mean, the the were ravens. They might not outwardly try to fight. I mean, they're Ooh. very mostly respected by other kind of. Uh, I have seen wolves of straw that turn the other way when we have been in a flock, but since most of the were ravens here live in this town, they might not want to out themselves. At least. You know, we want to try to go by our own way and rules. Would you be able to, uh, like, drop a long sword or a great sword in? In the house? Yeah. Um, we can certainly try. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. I mean, it's kind of asking a, a very specific question to something that I we haven't really tried to do before. Or tried to I'm just trying to have a, a tactical advantage if something were to happen. Okay. Uh, I mean, we will do our best. We will we will try to supply as best we can. Uh, I'm going to leave my, my greatsword in the room, and, and mm-hmm. if it just so happens you hear or someone hears a commotion. A ruckus. Yeah. Uh, I would appreciate if that could happen. Or be attempted to happen. Sure. Okay. I, I appreciate it. That is fine. Does anyone else need something that is taken uh, from their the leaving in my room? Yeah. Uh, you a... are not here. No. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not. You're right. <laughs> so, no. Look, I don't. I don't believe so. Okie dokie. I High try five. to do very best. I, I will do my best. No, I I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. High five. <laughs> okay. uh yeah and then i guess wh- what uh, about what time is it it's about four uh four fifteen do you want to go back to go get your suit for this evening yeah i think it's time for me to look dapper in the dead baby outfit yeah well it's not going to be a dead baby now not yet i'm cool. not a baby it's gonna be one hot baby. and i'm not dead <laughs> Not yet. You're... Fuck you. Uh, as we're walking back, I'll uh, I'll kind of talk to Absidy a little bit. Uh, about how far is for, are we from like where Shark is? Um, depending on when you want to start talking to him. I mean, it's a 40-minute walk, so you can start talking to him when there's 30 minutes left, 20 minutes left. Whatever. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave some, some silence uh, for a little bit, unless mm-hmm. he's being himself. Uh, and then I'll just kind of... I, uh, I, uh, you were still in frame when you did that. didn't mean to pick on you the other day. I'm kind of sorry how that went. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not upset about that at all. Uh, I just, I want what's best for the group. I think we all want what's best for the group. I don't know if you do sometimes. I think you're more concerned with what you can get your hands on than than what is best served for us. For the group. The more I have, the more I can give to the group if I so choose. Or the more so shit choose. the group can get into because you're stealing from people. I like to think of it as acquiring. I understand that. I, whether you like it or not, I look at you like my little brother. And I feel like I need to watch out for you sometimes. Okay, holy man. I'm both angry and touched, so I don't know how to handle this. (laughs) Why are you angry? Because I'm not the little brother. I'm older than you. Yeah, but like you're little. Yeah, but whatever. I get it. I get it. But I've known you for a week. I'm not going to change my whole persona just to fit. It's been longer than a week. How long has it been? It's. I would say it's been about like two or three weeks. Oh, because all that all the traveling we had to go. Oh, that's right. That's right. So maybe like you're coming up to like a month, a month and a week. We'll just okay. say that for okay. yeah, it's like four or five weeks. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to say, but I've been on my own for a long time, and I will take what I can get when I can get it for when the time comes that I can't get anything. I appreciate it, but that's who I am. I mean, you do what you got to do, I guess. Fist bump, because we're still friends. And with that, I think that's a good jumping off point because we ran a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I think we got a lot of good stuff in out of it. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's the end of episode twenty three. Wow. It's been a while. It's Hot been a dog. journey, guys. It, it has. Yes. It really yeah. has. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Only 800 episodes to go. Like, comment, <laughs> subscribe. Uh, if you also listen to our podcast, we are now on Anchor, which is a pretty dope app um check it out like comment subscribe youtube google play all that sort of stuff and uh we will see you next week bye